I like, I like the rural openness of it, for one thing. I like, I like being able to look down there and seeing, seeing hills and trees. I like the four seasons. I like it when it snows. I like the blooms in the spring. I like the colors in the fall. I just like it. Dick Zerby remembers back almost 40 years. We had a store down on Main Street. My wife did. There were days when nobody came in the store. There were other days when we might have done a dollar, you know. So times have changed a lot. It has and does change here, but very, very slowly. It all started with gold. Inside the Eagle Mine, which still produces today, you find proof of one of the richest lodes in Southern California, the magnet that drew settlers to the hills. Many, however, didn't stay because the gold veins here are so unpredictable, the mine soon became unprofitable to work. The gold rush started in 1870, but the area had been homesteaded several years before by five men who all had something in common. They were veterans of the Civil War on the Confederate side. One of those Confederate soldiers was Michael Julian. He and many other settlers rest here on the hill overlooking the town. Life is very different here from the city, and that's just what they like. I love it. The people in this town are just wonderful human beings. <laughs> it's great. Everybody helps each other. My son and daughter-in-law had a house fire, and I never saw the community come together and help like they did for something like that. It was just. It still gives me goosebumps. <laughs> I go to the city and I do shopping and I come home every day with a headache when I, if I go down there and I just, it's not like that up here. At least when everybody knows everybody, you know what to expect from people. That's one thing about living on a mountain. A lot safer than down in the city. When you get up above the scansel, you're back on the mountain and you belong. Julian's got a lot of things you won't find in the city. An old-fashioned fountain at the drugstore, for one. It's great. And apparently, an exceptional dump. You need a beach chair? <laughs> oh, my. Somebody had a party. They call it the exchange. Everybody seems to like it for their own reasons. But they got these big, huge, dipsy dumpsters. I would love one to live in, but I just bought a trailer. <laughs> but <laughs> you think I'm ridiculous? No, it no. is. I uh, furnished my entire house there, from the dump. There were people. There I were people the, yeah. in the rain the other night at the Julian dump. My husband went to put a load in the dump, and there were two men picking through the dump, and it was pouring rain. They love the dump up the here. The dump up here is wonderful. Mm -hmm. You can't do that at the dump in the city. There are even certain standards to be maintained. My garbage was gone through, pilfered through <laughs> at the local dump. Story. I got a phone call because these people objected to what I put in my garbage. Oh, you can find out a lot about Julian on a blustery afternoon in Jack's Grocery. This town is just real weird. Do you want me to help you? You love this town. Tell them why you love this town. Why do I love this town? Because I grew up here. I agree. It's like heaven and hell combined. It really is. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, because it's a wonderful place to live. It's a wonderful place to raise children. But it's a gossipy little place. It's a, it can be a nasty little place. You know what I mean? But we love it. Yeah, but we love it. <laughs> we love it. Like any place, Julian is not without its problems. Right now, there's a lot of pressure on the community to develop. And they want to ensure it's done correctly. Otherwise, the very surroundings people come here for will be destroyed. Changes come, but not easily. And these people, not without a fight. Like mine owner Bob Rich, 
he feels like he's living in a little bit of the past, and that's what he likes. I'm actually a uh, communications engineer, and uh, my job carried me all over the world, so uh, we've spent a lot of time in Korea, Taiwan, but uh, Julian is home. It's a difficult, boring life for the kids. Most of them want to get out. But for the people who were raised here, it's a world unlike any other. And for many of the rest, Julian is an escape to a life that hasn't yet picked up the pace, a different life on the mountain.